Hello and welcome to another episode of eScoot Talks. In this episode, we are going to be talking about Xiaomi Electric Scooter Pro 4 second generation. And yeah, as usual, I'm going to bring a scooter here. I'll be showing some pictures here somewhere. And uh, yeah, I'll be of course looking there just to scroll through Xiaomi's official website and share my thoughts with you. So now looking at the scooter, if you're out there uh, on the scooter market for a while, if you're electric scooter enthusiasts, tell me, does this scooter remind you of any other scooter that's already out there on a, for a while? And if yes, which scooter is it? And let me know in the comments down below and I'll share my opinion at the end of the video. So uh, let's get started. So we have Xiaomi Electric Scooter 4 Pro second generation. And I was thinking like, okay, why it's not 5 Pro, why it's 4 Pro second gen, but okay, it's 2024. So they released four generation last year and they decided, okay, maybe they're gonna st stick with that. So that 2025, they can release a fifth generation and then continue like that in the future. So like the number of generation actually means 20 something, 20 which year uh, that scooter actually is made. Because that's kind of the only thing that, that makes sense to me. So we have a rear motor and a front drum brake setup. So the motor is 1000 watts, 60 kilometer range, 25 kilometers per hour, 10 inch tires, 22% max incline, uh, indicators, auto light mode, and uh, carbon steel frame. That's kind of a short summary. So, okay, let's go. So rear motor, as I already said a couple of times, really good, good and bad option. Good option, more torque, more uh, battery efficiency. Downside, majority of punctures happen on a rear wheel. So usually it's much more common to replace a tire on a rear wheel than on the front. If rear wheel is motor, it can be a little bit tricky. Now, uh, tires are now uh, 10 inch. And as we can see on this picture here, here somewhere, uh, the rim is actually six and a half inch. Tires are tubeless. And the fact that the rim is six and a half inch, that's actually brilliant. It doesn't say anything about uh, self-healing tires or whatever, but because of the six and a half inch rim, nine mod max tires will actually absolutely perfectly fit on this scooter so we can upgrade to those tires at some stage of course it would be better if it came uh, from the factory with those tires in the first place but like okay it is what it is unfortunately uh, nobody is perfect not even xiaomi now when it comes to dashboard dashboard looks pretty similar to all other standard Xiaomi dashboards, all of the pro scooters that were released uh, so far. But of course, we also have indicators that are at the end of the handlebars, a nice small switch that setup we saw already on a couple of 9 bot scooters that came out so far. A power button is still on the top in uh, just below display. Uh, maybe they improved ceiling, but on first generations of Xiaomi scooters, that was the most common place where water would go through and uh, cause water damage on a dashboard. But okay, luckily dashboards are not that expensive. If, if you're gonna get a water damage, it's better to get it on a dashboard than on controller or a battery. But one thing that actually used to quite ha happen quite often, like some Xiaomi scooters, when they get uh, water damage, they would start turning on and turning off on its own and people would think that it's actually a dashboard where it was actually almost always a controller. So three riding modes, pedestrian up to six kilometers per hour, standard drive mode up to 20 kilometers per hour and sport mode up to 25 kilometers per hour. Uh, regarding battery, so battery has a 60 kilometer claimed range 
real life we are expecting something like 30 35 we can see here configuration that the battery now is in the front and controller is in the back and obviously cells are horizontally uh, fitted so unfortunately i prefer to see uh, battery cells fitted vertically because then if you want to play around with fitting even bigger batteries some custom made battery or whatever you're always going to have a little bit more space but i wouldn't advise you to play with that if you don't know what you're doing definitely not making batteries uh, then uh, yeah as i mentioned already uh, braking configuration rear motor front drum brake and i kind of have a feeling that like probably most of the budget commuter scooters will probably now have that configuration at least with manufacturers that know what they're doing because front drum brake and rear regenerator braking is working absolutely brilliant i tested in motion one s that had like that was the best brake setup i ever had on a scooter uh navi s65c also have exactly same setup it's absolutely brilliant like the braking power that way it just works absolutely brilliant of course xiaomi standard smart bms all of their scooters have smart bms and i would actually love to see more manufacturers have some kind of those their standards that where, where you know that their scooter is coming with this 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 and that so that you know what you're getting of course as usual as all xiaomi scooters there is they're also also going to be compatible with the uh, with me home app where you're going to be able to change some settings on a scooter and also check the estimated range now one thing that i would actually advise maybe xiaomi or some other manufacturers to make an app smart in a way that it measures how many kilometer rider does with a full battery and then shows estimate based on that because heavier riders are going to get less range lighter riders are going to get a higher range i don't think that it's that hard for an app to like they're collecting data anyways so it's not that hard to start for app actually to collect data and make statistics and then make prediction based on that i think like something like that would be brilliant for any manufacturer to to bring up so i don't know maybe someone's gonna watch this video and maybe someone's gonna decide to do something like that i think that would be absolutely brilliant uh okay so regarding the taillight taillight is still uh, nice and big and we have that standard small metal mudguard support uh, bracket. I absolutely like that compared to 4 Pro Plus and 4 Pro Max because this makes, is making it much easier to work around the, uh, around the mudguard to replace a tire or anything like that. So I actually, even though that looks much sturdier and maybe nicer, I absolutely prefer nice small uh, metal mudguard support. Now when it comes to frame, so carbon steel frame. Uh, all Xiaomi frames so far uh, have been shown really good. In my six years of repairing scooters, yeah, I've seen broken frames, never on Xiaomi. Now looking at this frame, especially this picture, I'm now just wondering, like, you know, the bottom part of the battery looks like extender. Is that part of the frame or is that actually part of the lead battery cover? And is that battery cover plastic or metal? Like, how sturdy that is? Because if you hit the curb and if that's plastic, that's a problem. So... Uh, I, I hope that this is just something like, you know, reinforced in, in some way. Uh, okay, and now we have a picture of Xiaomi here folded. Uh, folding mechanism, uh, we actually saw first version of that type of a folding mechanism, at least it looks like that, on Navi S65. 
So it's slightly different folding mechanism, but like looking here at the folding mechanism, at, at, at everything, does this scooter remind you of some other scooter that's out there for like, I don't know, three, four years? It really does remind me, okay? And it reminds me of actually Xiaomi's version of 9Bot Max. Like, absolutely. 10 inch tubeless tires, but they don't have anti-puncture jelly. No suspension, rear motor, front drum brake, folding mechanism like 9Bot Max. This is basically their version of 9Bot Max. At least that's how I see it. Now, Xiaomi scooters are smaller format. So I'm going to assume that this is still going to stay kind of a small format. So definitely baby uh, 9Bot Max. So uh, is it a good option to buy? Well, uh, as I said, always the biggest question there is going to be a price tag nine bot max you can buy them now for around 600 euros six to seven hundred euros depending where you're buying them and is there any deal or whatever local shops can be even more expensive here in ireland they were selling them for 800 euro or even more uh, so if this is going to be anything below 700 euro price tag then yeah definitely okay if it's going to be over 700 euro price tag since it doesn't have a uh, self-healing tires or anti-puncture gel in tires then no a bit of a plus side is of course that parts for xiaomi are much more available than for any other scooter and okay another small difference between 9 bot max and this xiaomi is actually location of the charging port so charging port is is higher there it's not all the way at the bottom so uh yeah that's uh that's de definitely a, a plus side that's definitely a pro there yeah that's my conclusion on this xiaomi final decision decision would i buy it or not would depend on the price i can't wait to see it in person so i can compare it to some other scooters regarding size and weight of course, at the bottom of the page, there is also all the details. How did they achieve the uh, max power, max distance, and uh, all those things? I can see here just in a small print that the uh, max battery charges 54.6 volts. So that means that this Xiaomi is a 48 volt system. So that might mean that maybe Xiaomi is moving from 36 volt systems. To 48 volt systems that's also uh, also quite nice so yeah uh, we'll see when i get my hands on one of them i might make uh, another episode but i think this is more than enough for for this one there is also xiaomi electric scooter for light that looks pretty different than any other xiaomi and i'm bringing that episode to you pretty soon as well um so yeah that's all guys that's all for this episode uh i hope you enjoyed it i hope you uh i earned your subscription if you want to support for support me uh affiliate links in a video description down below all the tools and everything that i use myself if something changes if i change opinion i remove those immediately or uh, i don't know you can maybe buy me a coffee. So yeah, as usual, till next time, guys, please stay safe out there and respect other road users. Bye-bye.